In this tutorial, we'll build uh, another machined type of part using SolidWorks and we'll use PhotoView for rendering and drawing those little ink contour line. And I'll introduce also Decal where you can take a PNG, apply it and locate it. So let's get started. New part. Here I'll stain inches, so this is correct. I'll start by uh, drawing the base, so top view, sketch. Do this is by drawing a center line, so we can actually dimension from those axes. And we might as well draw another one going the other way. Voila. So I have something to grab if I want a dimension or center. Center rectangle, and I'll put it here. And what I was trying to tell you is that now I can go smart dimension and I can go from the center to this one. And we can easily dimension this, maybe one inch. And then I can do a dimension from this to this for the width and we'll go three, five. We want to round this sketch fillet and click on the four. That would do a group a set with those four and we could go three quarter inch 0.75 and now say cancel here because he thinks you're gonna do you're gonna need another set of fillet then we can do the convert this to a solid so extrusion and I think here I was using a half inch perfect so now we want to draw that circle the first pipe so we'll use the front plane, control 8 to be facing it, and we'll draw it from the bottom. Dimension it. Diameter, I think 3 or 4 should be fine. Uh, let's go 4. That seems a bit big. So first we'll trim it. So I'll draw a line here. It's kind of a cutting line. Then I'll go trim. And wherever you drag, it will delete. As long as you're in power trim. So we're at the center because we drew it on the front plane. This is what I wanted. Because we want to do a symmetrical extrusion. So solid extrude. And we'll go mid plane. And we'll use 4 inch. So now it goes through the entire part and inside it melt. Perfect. We'll go back to our front plane, draw a new sketch, control eight to be normal too. And here we'll start here and we'll go three inch. And this time we want to cut. So extrude cut using mid plane. And here we want to use we could actually go through all both and it will always go through both of them. Voila. Then what I did, I drew a plane that starts somewhere here. So I could just go like this and we could put a point here, but I will just eyeball it for this time. Planes are here on the feature plane. I was using one inch and I think one is good here. So you type one inch here. Remember, a plane is infinite. Huh? Then we'll draw on this plane, we'll sketch, Control plus 8, a circle. Dimension it. We'll use... That sounds too small. Let's go two. You double click, two inch. Extrude. And here we want maybe one inch. Yeah. Voila. On the top, Control 8, we select the face. If you select a face, then you don't need a, a plane. A circle, hover here to see the center. And here we'll use 1 or 1, 5. Then we'll go cut. And we can go cut to the next one, up to next. Means it'll cut up to here. So now we can actually see through. 
Next, we'll draw on this face. So select it, Control 8. We'll start with a line. Could start here. The line will go up and then down to here. The midpoint here, the quadrant. Feel free to dimension them if you want. Um, I'll go 2.5 and here we'll go also 2.5. Maybe 3 would have been nicer actually. So here I could do a fillet like this, 0.75. Exit this. Before I exit, I need to connect those two. It doesn't really matter here what you do, they just need to be close. So we could draw here to here and maybe use a, an arc. So I use three point arc, the last one. One, start, end, and then find the tangent. And actually this point should be there. So remove this, we might have to kill the dimension and drag it here. Voila. So extrude. And we'll go the other way. So you click on the arrow. And I think I use the same 0.5. Voila. And you see it melt here. Then we need to mirror this. So there's a 3D mirror here. Mirror feature. You click here. You want to find the mirror plane. So it would be the front. And what do you want to mirror? It's the bus. So this is very neat because if you change this one, it will update here. Then we need to have a circle to match this. So we select uh, the front plane again at the center and we go circle. We hover here, wait a bit, and we make sure that we match it here. Voila. Extrude, mid plane, and uh, here we'll go four, I think. Perfect. Then we need to make the, the shaft, the hole, so front plane, circle, smart dimension, one. And then extrude cut through all both. Voilà. We're almost done. Now we need to make those holes. So select this face, sketch, control 8, circle over here to get the center point. Do another one here. Dimension 1, so a half inch. And then click, shift click all of them and make them equal. Release the shift, equal. Feature, extrude cut, same thing uh, through all. And you're basically done. For rendering to uh, make things more interesting, you could add some fillet. So go here, make this really small. Uh, let's try 0.1 and select this face. 0.01, sorry. And so here we could use a fillet for sure, here too, there too. It'll help a lot. And on the rest, we could use a chamfer. This is like a 45 degree cut. On metal, it looks good. Same size or a hair smaller, maybe. I'll make it a hair smaller to make it more interesting. 0.015. And you could select here, this, this. So something like this. And to do a really, if I want a nice render, I would go to Modo. Uh, but to do a quick render, we could use a Photo View 360, the light version of Modo that ships with uh, SolidWorks. Very quick and dirty, uh, bring some light. Uh, basic scene, double click here. We'll tweak this afterward. Um, we can go in plastic and make it soft plastic, soft touch, and I'll make it black. Drag and drop. Apply this to the entire part. And then we can go metal, aluminium, brush aluminium, and we can put this on the fillet. So drag it in between 
and then say fillet. So all of the fillet will have it. Do the same thing with the chamfer. Chamfer. So that should be good. So now we can do a test. Be in perspective too. It will look nicer. And let's do a test. So render tool window. So it's not touching the floor. I must have modeled it too high. That's okay. We can switch this. Now you see those white highlights? It'll be nice if we turn the, the environment a bit. So we can go edit scene. To make the floor touch, you go offset to geometry. So now this is on the floor. And if you go advanced, you can rotate the environment. And you see now it's shooting light from the side. I think it looks a little bit better. I'll go maybe 65. If we want to add a decal, we can go here, decal. There's a list here and there. You can then load your own, um, but I'll go with this one. This is a PNG, and you drag and drop it to the face that you want. This pops up. This is where you can change the image. Use your own. This one is actually a BMP with a mask BMP, but either way, you can do the mask separately or use a PNG and then we can move it scale it and rotate it say ok and uh, if you go preview now it will voila so if I come a little bit closer Now to make things pop, we can also go option and we can put some contours, some little ink. And instead of using black here, I would use a gray so it's not too strong. Now the ink will only show when you render. So you go file, render, there, but uh, then you can switch it to one to one and uh, voila, save it here as a JPEG or PNG.